And today we're going to talk about China called out on Uyghur genocide. Now we know here in the U.S. they have um, said that it was genocide. We also heard Canada was the next country that followed suit and talked about how what China is doing to the Uyghur Muslims is genocide. Yeah. Um, we've seen a lot on this. It's not the first time, but finally, I think the world is seeing the light. Yeah, I just um, wish they would see it sooner and do something about it. Sooner. Yeah. Yeah, because we know, I mean, this is a Weon clip that we're using, but um, we've seen many of videos yeah. on what's been going on there. Um, this is not the first time, so it's been going on for a while. Um, we watched the one about um, taking down the mosques and building yeah. uh, undergarment factories and toilets. Yeah. Which is like a slap in the face. And then them still saying that they have so many thousand mosques in it to like push back mm -hmm. the other people because... Yeah. So they're, they're saying that, oh, no, 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 we're letting them, but... What they're trying to do, the CCP, like they did in Tibet, like they've done in Hong Kong and Taiwan and all these other places that they've taken over, is they're trying to make them conform to what the CCP believes. Right. Um, and that's, we've heard them, they're changing the Quran, um, you know, they're, they're, um, there's just so many things that we've heard them doing there. And the only person that doesn't seem to get up on his pedestal for this is Imran Khan. Yeah. So Modi talks about Kashmir and the whole internet blows up. You know, the Article 360 got removed. The whole internet, from here to the other side of the world, like, oh my God, that's terrible. Yeah, but the, China's nothing? Not no, even one yeah. word against China because For of the trade. Time. Mm -hmm. Because of the trade that America has with it and what Pakistan has with it. Yeah. And that, oh, well, they feed Pakistan money right now. Yeah. Pakistan asks for money. Yeah. yeah. So they're worried, I guess, about their debt if they speak out against it. But he gets on his pedestal all the time talking about how bad in India the Muslims have it and how terrible they're being treated and Kashmir, 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 Kashmir. And we've heard it here. Ilian Omar, um, Kamala Harris. She's another one that, that doesn't side with Modi and India on Kashmir. And Kashmir is an Indian part of India. It's always has been. It's, yeah. it's part of India. Um, you know, they lost a piece to Pakistan. Pakistan gave a piece to China. Like, if they really cared about Kashmir, why why don't you let it go and make the parts that you have its own country? And mm -hmm. then if India feels like, okay, that needs to be separate, then India can decide what to do with their part. But you don't care about Kashmir or the people of Kashmir. No. This is about taking over. And for China, they think they're going to take over the world. And yeah. I think they think people are looking a blind eye. They've done it on Tibet for years. They've looked yes. the other way. And I, and I hope, you know, this, this coronavirus that came out of Wuhan is a huge deal. Hundreds of thousands of people have died, more than World War I, World War II, and the Vietnam War combined for the U.S., over 500,000 people have died here in the U.S. Yeah. And yet we still have $500 billion worth of trade with China. I, I don't understand. And, and yet I can't buy stuff at the store. Without looking at it and it's saying made in China. 95% of the stuff that's on the shelves. And you can look at different companies because I check. I'm like, okay, maybe just this company. No. A lot of companies to find a mask that's not made in China in the shop. Oh my God, I had the hardest time. We found yeah. one, the one that actually says Namaste, stay six feet away, was actually made in Mexico. Um, so we bought those. We bought some online that were made in the USA. It's just, 
the amount of trade that we have with China, part of it is there's so much of it that now people, companies in the U.S. are like letting stuff go. Like they're yeah. like they're not going to make it anymore because China has made it so cheap and so easy that there's no point in us trying to make it. But so they just let it go to China. Right. But uh, we can't let everything go. Like we have to make stuff here. And like India, be more self-reliant. Yeah. It's like we depend way too much. We need to bring back manufacturing. We need to bring back IT. We need to bring back all that military. You know, okay, some clothes. Okay, shoes. Yeah, some stuff. It's okay. You can't have everything. Every light bulb, paper towel. Like, every time I turn around, like, I cannot find something that's not made five different companies and it will have you know made in florida and the bottom it will say the companies in florida or in california or wherever and underneath that will say made in china yeah so at first glance i'm like oh it's made in usa no, no. anyways i think we got a little off topic here but this is really about calling china out on not only trying to take over other countries, not only about this Wuhan virus that has pretty much spread around the world and and made havoc. It's like silent war. Um, and now you have basically genocide. So let's see what um, Wian has to say. A rhetorical question, but we must ask it for the sake of fairness. And to answer it, let me show you the definition of genocide again. What qualifies as genocide? Read this. There are five points here. Any of these acts committed with the intent of destroying a group is genocide. This is what the United Nations says. And guess what? China is guilty on all surprise, five surprise. counts. Yeah. Let's start from the top. Point number one, killing mm -hmm. members of a group. Well, it's hard to determine the number of people they killed disappear. because China has restricted yeah. access to the region and it oh, won't, won't share any data, data, reliable yeah. data. But multiple independent investigations have confirmed that millions of Uyghurs are missing. There's no saying how many of them have been yeah. killed. Number two, causing harm to a group. Uyghurs are being forced to give up their religion, work without pay in Chinese factories. Their organs oh are being God. harvested. Yes. If this is not harm, what is? Point number three, inflicting damage on their living condition. One million Uyghurs have been put in concentration camps. That's 7% of Xinjiang's Muslim population. Uyghurs in 2020, in Human Rights Watch said Where's that China is using big Uyghurs? data programs like, in Xinjiang to quote-unquote arbitrarily select Muslims for detention. Wearing a veil, studying the Quran can lead to an arrest in these parts. That's crazy. The next point, preventing birth within a group. Vion has been reporting for years on how Uyghurs are being forcefully sterilized. Women are being raped and forced into abortion. Data from 2015 to 2018 shows birth rates in most Uyghur regions of Hotan and Kashgar have plunged by more than wow. 60%. And point number five, forcefully transferring children. We have shown you how Uyghur children have been put in boarding schools. They are being sinicized. Their parents are not being allowed to meet them. China, of course, denies of course all of these charges. Too. Forget crimes against humanity. China says Xinjiang is, quote unquote, right. a shining example of its progress on human rights. These are the words of China's Foreign Minister Wang Yi. He addressed the United Nations Human Rights Council yesterday. He rejected the charges of genocide and he said this. Basic facts show that there has never been so-called genocide, forced labor or religious oppression in Xinjiang. Yet, why is there so much video on it? Like, yeah. He mentioned how there are 24,000 mosques in the western region now of China. There are toilets and. We say these are lies because we reported last mm -hmm. year on how mosques are being torn down in Xinjiang. Do you remember what Beijing was building on these mosque yeah. sites? Public toilets Underwear and factories. undergarment yeah. factories yeah. where mosques once stood. You see, the label of genocide is not. Not, does not just hinge on the scale of the crime, but also on the intent of the perpetrator. And whichever parameter you consider, China is guilty. The question is, why are countries shy of calling oh, out of China? Trade. Why is the world so slow in charging China with genocide? And the answer is very simple to that, because it's China. There's too much at stake. 
for almost every country. You see, crime against humanity is punishable under international law. You cannot charge a country with genocide and also strike deals with it. World leaders know this. Cutting China out of the supply chain is not all that easy, at least right now. Human rights groups say the entire fashion industry is complicit in Uyghur forced labor. The world's leading brands source cotton yarn from China. China forces Uyghurs to work in these cotton factories. China made 40 four zero masks for every person around the world in the last year. Guess who made these masks? Jailed Uyghur Muslims. Look at this headline. So if Justin Trudeau accuses China of genocide, he will have to stop trading yeah, well, with it. US accused it. You can't and have it both ways. So Justin yeah, Trudeau has picked his side. But so has his country. Stop. This is what mm -hmm. an opposition leader said ahead of the vote at the House of Commons. And I will quote this. We will stand up for human rights and the dignity of human rights, even if it means sacrificing some economic opportunity. This is something that leaders across the world should pay heed yeah. to. Canada also wants the Olympic Committee to move the 2022 Winter Olympics yeah. out yeah. of Beijing. There's no way. The this Olympics is if China continues China. the genocide. No now remember, way. the Winter Olympics is very no. close to Chinese President yeah. Xi Jinping's I don't heart. Care. He was recently seen visiting mm -hmm. the game site, checking its progress, but his dreams are crushed. under threat. <laughs> In the last few years, China leveraged its position in the global supply chain to buy the world's silence on Uyghurs. Yeah. During the pandemic, it also got Khan Turkey too. to swap yeah. Uyghur refugees for Can Wuhan virus Wuhan vaccines. But the very same pandemic the brought the Uyghur crisis under the spotlight. The world wants to make China pay, and the Uyghur genocide may prove to be the best way to arm yeah, twist China. The, the progress virus. has been slow, yeah. but the wheels are slowly turning. The question is, Will India join the bandwagon? We'll be the first to report. Saying that China's creating genocide, but it's not taking away anything. It's not giving back to anybody. No, we're not helping them stop it. Right. And we're also, I think, you know, okay, you slapped them with genocide, but now what? You're still trading billions of dollars with them. You're still like, you know, and doing. are still dying. Like, to, you're not doing anything about that. No. Um, you haven't said anything about Imran Khan and his thing. Imran Khan hasn't said anything. Pakistan's not helping, but you're not saying anything about that. Mm. You're just specifically putting out there that China's creating ge genocide. That's it. Right. That's all you've said. You haven't done anything. Right. So there needs to be some action behind it. Like, you can't just say this. Like she said. You can't do huge trade with a with a country that is using their concentration camp right. to make the products that you're buying from them. You're making products from you're buying products from China, but what you don't realize is that those products are from Uber Muslims making them. Those products are from basically slaves making them. Mm hmm. Yeah, aren't getting paid, that are in concentration camps. Yeah. Um, they've done some horrendous things that we've seen, you know, on the news. And yet, people are still trading with them. There's still a business going on, you know. There has to be a time when you, you, can't, you can't say they're being unethical and still do business. You can't yeah. say that they've done all these horrible things and yet still spend $500 billion. You can't work with them and say something different because soon enough they're going to kick you. They're going to be like, okay, well, we're going to stop the trade and we can go to other countries. But they still have the trade with America because they need it. Because we're spending, right. like you said, $5 billion So there. they need us, but we have become so dependent on their cheap crap. That we need that them. That we need them. We can't... We need to stop needing them, though. Because once right. we stop needing them, China is going to be screwed. Right. Yes, when the world stops needing cheap crap and they find other places like India and Mexico and Brazil and other large countries, they can make stuff inexpensive. But so people have choices. Like yeah. I said, we literally go to the store and four, five, six different companies, different name brands, and you think, okay, at least one of these has to be made somewhere other than China. No. And 90% of the time, it's not. I was so excited when we got home when me and Daddy bought pencils and we bought them back and it was like made in India and I was like, yes. Yeah. 
I mean, it's exciting to find something that's made in the USA or made in India or even made in Mexico. Like, when I find something that's not made in China, because... We're like, yes! Yeah, like, we have to bring some of this back home. India yeah. is starting to do that. We can't be the only ones. But like she said, you know, is India going to get on this wagon, too, and talk about, you know, maybe if enough countries slap them with genocide then there's going to be a time where people are going to be like, why are they a, a permanent member of the UN? Why yeah. are we considering them one of the top countries in the world? They're not. They're like they barbarians. They shouldn't be. They're going and, like, taking over other countries, I not like, treating people humanely. Right. We've been blind for so long that they now have a permanent seat on the UN, and I don't know how they got there, but they shouldn't be on there. No. It's been a long, long time. Yeah. And yeah, this, this is like, you know, my thing too is Imran Khan constantly gets up and badgers Modi and India about Talks Kashmir. About India. Constantly. And I know, yeah. I know China has fed their pockets full of money mm -hmm. to get them out of debt, to give them, you know, but at what price? I mean, when is Pakistan going to wake up and realize that China is using them? China has no interest in making them better. Not they at are going to turn into the Uyghur Muslims. Yeah. Uh, it's just going to be Pakistan is going to be their new mm -hmm. Uyghur Muslims. And I honestly like, you know, they they backed off the border, but please, please keep that border tight because I feel like they're going to come back. They're going to come back, or they're going to feed. Imran Khan and his goons some more money and you're going to get it from Pakistan's side. Right. So this is the thing. When when is the world going to wake up and see what China is doing? Yeah. I don't know how long it's going to take, but hopefully hopefully not forever. So, and hopefully we'll see you guys again tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Bye.